Well, we're here to, uh, first of all, carry out a, a groundbreaking ceremony, which marks the official start of the Christie Proton Beam Therapy Project. It'll be something that we're very proud to be associated and be awarded the contract for. Well, this particular project's targeted at providing proton beam therapy treatment for paediatric patients in the first instance. And uh, for them, it will mean that that treatment can be provided locally without them having to travel overseas. Currently, most patients, I believe, travel to the US for for proton beam treatment. It's quite an interesting project in many respects because the form of equipment that sits in here uh, requires quite a considerable amount of concrete shielding around it. So we've got some fairly heavy engineering associated with the construction of the bunkers and the gantries, constructing walls up to five metres thick in areas. This is the first high energy proton beam centre in the UK. So there will be on this site a freestanding new build that is about to kick off and it will work incredibly closely with the other facilities in the main Christie Hospital. We currently send patients overseas for this treatment and they get treated incredibly well but of course some of them are really quite poorly and therefore not always able to travel and therefore having the facilities in our own country has to be much better for the patient. I suppose one of the most important things is that it's a complex mix of both delivering of highly complex accurate treatment but also patient support. So you've got to do both and doing one in isolation actually would make the treatment unacceptable I think really. The second thing is uh, the complex nature of the medical care of some of our patients. So, for instance, children who need chemotherapy at the same time, specialist assessments, dietary support, play therapy because they may have general anaesthetics every day for five weeks. You know, those sorts of things are incredibly complex. And so from the medical and technical point of view, it's about integrated care, not just the radiotherapy. My name's Andrea Seal, um, and I've uh, had proton beam therapy in Oklahoma um, May 2012 to August 2012. I've been honoured um, to be asked to do the um, groundbreaking ceremony um, and I just can't wait to see the um, building growing up. So with conventional x-rays, when you treat a cancer with x-rays, the x-rays pass through the body. Very much like having a chest x-ray done. You would never get that picture on the screen if the x-rays didn't pass through the body. Protons are very different. They're much heavier particles. So even though they can be um, hurled at speed into the body, they do slow down quite quickly and they do eventually stop and deliver a dose of radiation. What that means is no exit dose. No exit dose means those normal tissues are not being irradiated. Those normal tissues not being irradiated means that there won't be problems associated uh, with those uh, normal tissues being damaged um, in the future. The groundbreaking um, ceremony was amazing. Uh, I've been involved in the project from the start uh, since 2009 and the bid submission itself in 2010. So to actually get to such a, a significant milestone, that means, that means a lot. Mm -hmm.